So we're going to round two digit numbers to the nearest 10. So here we have to round 23 to the nearest 10. And to the nearest 10 means to the nearest multiple of 10. So on our number line, we have the number 23 and we have the previous multiple of 10, which is 20, and the next multiple of 10, which is 30. So any number is between two multiples of 10, and 23 is between 20 and 30. Now we're asked to round to the nearest 10. So what we are really asking is which multiple of 10 is 23 closer to? Is it closer to 20 or to 30? Well, I can see that the number 23 is closer to 20. So 23 rounded to the nearest 10 is 20. And we can say that we've rounded down. And here notice I've drawn an arrow rather than an equal sign because equals means is the same as and 23 isn't the same as 20, but it does round to 20. So if we round 28 to the nearest 20, again, we're looking between 20 and 30, but 28 is closer to 30 than to 20, so we round up to 30. Now how can we round 41 to the nearest 10? Well 41 is between 40 and 50, and it's closer to 40 than 50, so we round down to 40. Now we need to round 66 to the nearest 10. So 66 is between which two multiples of 10? 66 is between 60 and 70. And I can see that 66 is nearer to 70 than to 60. So we round 66 up to 70. Round 55 to the nearest 10. Now this is a bit more complicated, as we'll see in a moment. But first, 55 is between which two multiples of 10? It's between 50 and 60. And it's actually right in the middle of 50 and 60. So if we go back 5, we get to 50. But if we go forward 5, we get to 60. And here's what you need to know. When a number is right in the middle of two multiples of 10, you always round up, so you always go to the larger number. So 55 rounds to 60. It rounds up to 60. So now pause the video and see if you can round 25 to the nearest 10. Well, 25 is right in the middle of 20 and 30. And when we're in the middle, we always round up. So 25 rounded to the nearest 10 is 30. So when rounding to the nearest 10, if the units digit is 1, 2, 3 or 4, go back to the previous multiple of 10, and if the units digit is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, go on to the next multiple of 10.